Hello, I'm Sean O'Black with the Bank Policy Institute, and I'm here with our Senior Vice President and the Head of Research, Francisco Cobas. Francisco, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you, Sean. Wanted to talk a little bit about your new research on banking deserts. Tell us, what is a banking desert and why is it important? So a banking desert is a small geographic area without any access to a physical bank branch. And the reason why it's important is some people have used the banking desert as a, a way of measuring lack of access of households to uh, banking services, in particular the low and moderate income households. Okay. And I've heard, you know, some of the popular narrative is that uh, banking deserts are growing in the U.S. post-crisis. Is that what your research turned out to show? No, it's not. So our research, a key result of our research is actually the number of banking deserts has not changed over the post-crisis period. Moreover, we find that banks uh, over the entire last decade continue to serve 99% of low-income households. And it's just not small banks that serve low-income households. Also, large banks play a very important role in serving low-income households. And in fact, deposits at large banks serving those communities has, has grown twice as fast as deposits at smaller banks. Great. Well, thanks for talking to us about this today. I found the research to be very interesting. And to find out more, you can click on the link below. Thank you.